So in this video, I'm going to talk about the three things that I'm always asked in the comment section. One, adoption, surrogacy, and will my wife curry? Then at the end, I'll give an update. And in the second video, I'll close out my experience with Shady Grove Fertility. Okay? So, one, will we consider adoption? No. And the reason we won't is because it's too expensive. Adopt adoption can be anywhere between $40,000 on up to $75,000. I think people have this um, false sense of reality that they think adopting is free. And it's not. It's very expensive. And just like IVF, it's no guarantee. Uh, with adopting, you have to pay all this money. But at the end, the mother can change her mind and say, you know what, I think I'm going to keep my baby. Um, you can get caught up in the whole legal fiasco and it can be three years before you even get matched with a child. So it's too risky and too high of a cost. Um, so adoption is a no. We thought about fostering, but for me, fostering is also not an option. Fostering a child and then adopting the child through the foster system is really affordable. Um, you cutting your costs down from maybe four forty to seventy five thousand for a private adoption, all the way down to about two grand, at least in the state I live in. But my issue with fostering is just because they match you with a child does not mean that child will be yours forever. You can get attached to that child. The child can be attached to you. The baby could call you mom. You attached to their heart. They're attached to your heart. And then boom, the social worker could come and say, hey, we found a better family for them. Or I've, I've witnessed this happen to friends. They have these foster kids for maybe a year or two years. And then out of nowhere, the social worker comes and say, hey, we're going to give the kids back to their birth mom because she took a 30 minute parenting class so she can treat the kids better and just to be told months later that the kids was being abused again I wouldn't be able to handle that emotionally so fostering is not an option for me simply because of the emotional aspect of it the possibility of them coming back and taking them that would be too hard for me I would be waiting for them to come take the kids instead of enjoying my child my time with the child or kids so that's that surrogacy y'all surrogacy costs more than adoption and adoption costs more than IVF okay surrogacy is anywhere from 45,000 on up that on up is endless you have to pay the legal fees you have to pay for the attorneys you have to pay the person that's actually carrying the baby. You are responsible for all of their medical costs. You are responsible for their well-being. For those nine months, you are taking care of that woman. Like her bills, her everything, you're taking care of her. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, Sarah can see you have more of a guarantee because you signing off the papers. Basically, that's my baby and you. That's my egg whatever so you know you're going to end up with your child but it's the cost that's just so astonishing i would love to have a surrogacy and the reason i would love that is because with everything i'm going through now simply to get pregnant i'm kind of becoming a little worried about how my body is going to react once i do become pregnant so i would love a surrogacy but it just costs too much it, it just costs too much Third question, would my wife carry? The answer is yes. We have talked about this a lot of times. Um, we've talked about this a great deal. And she has agreed that she will carry the baby if I can't. The issue is not my wife. The issue is me. And it's not the reason why most people would think. People would think that I don't want her to get pregnant because I would be jealous or envious because she's pregnant and I'm not. That's not the case at all. Like I said before, I would rather my wife carry than me because at this point, I still want a baby so bad. Like that that desire and that, it just, it burns. It's, I, I really do. But I'm starting to be a little afraid about how my body is gonna handle pregnancy. So I would love for my wife to carry. My issue is I know she will be uncomfortable 
you have to think about this. This is a woman who has been a lesbian her entire life. She's never been with a man. It's never been none of that. She's never had that feeling of, oh, I want to be a mom. She's never had that, I want to experience childbirth. You know, I want to go through that. She's never had those type of feelings. So I don't. I'm a little afraid that if she gets pregnant and she, if she's really uncomfortable, she's going to resent me or hate me or, you know, feel like, oh, I'm going through all of this because my wife is broken. And, you know, I, and, and most likely it's all in my head, but that's just, that's a fear of mine. I don't want to do anything that's, that has the risk of taking our marriage from this to this. I don't want her to hate me. So that's, you know, a real fear of mine that I'm trying to, you know, come to terms with because actually I would love to see a mini her running around our house. My wife is fucking awesome in every way. She's probably one of the best people I know. Um, she's amazing and she's cute as fuck. So I will, <laughs> I would love to see a mini version of Tiffany walking, running around the house. You know, we already have a mini me. I mean, when I say mini me, I mean mini me. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see my daughter looks, we look like twins. So we already have that. So I would love to see a mini version of my wife. So yeah, I, I I'm just afraid. I don't want her to I don't want her to resent me. You have to think about this. Something the size of a watermelon, okay, is going to come out of a hole the size of a cherry. That's going to be that has the opportunity to be traumatizing for her. So, I'm worried about that. And also, society is a little brutal when it comes to dominant women getting pregnant. Everyone feels like if a dominant woman get pregnant, she's faking and she's this and she's that. Even in our community, our community, the LGBT community is some of the worst people <laughs> on the planet. Not all of us, but the way some of us discriminate is sickening and I hate it. You know, I don't want anybody to be assaulting her or coming at her like how you a dom but you pregnant and how this and that that's stuff that i'm worried about that she probably don't even care about like look at all the heat domo wilson got because she curried her and her fiance's baby like that real can really can happen so i'm concerned about that you know my wife is not one of those dominant women who wants to be a man or acts like a man or, you know she don't walk around holding her crotch and she don't try to make her voice deeper like some doms do she's just she's not that type of person it's not she's not the male of our relationship you know both of us are females in the relationship and that's something that um i love about her and that's one reason why i fell in love with her i've never been with a dom before in my life until her I love the fact that she's okay with being a woman and she loves her femininity and she she loves her tits and, and you know it's you know she just she's everything so I don't want her to be uncomfortable so my reservation about her having a baby isn't about me at all it's me being worried about how she's going to feel but if i had to choose that would be my preference like i'm going through a lot just trying to get pregnant um my tube isn't blocked but it is severely damaged i have a lot of scar tissue from my last hsg a year ago to my hsg now my scar tissue has grown a lot so that's what is making it difficult for me to get pregnant and stay pregnant and things like that so it is an opportunity it is a chance that we can get approved for three more IVFs and those three might fail too it's a chance that I can go through all six IUIs and all six fail too um, so if I had to choose I would rather my wife do it than me do it because if she did it and got pregnant, it's nothing wrong with her. She don't have any medical issues. I won't feel like we're wasting our money. For me, I feel like if 
we put any more money into me, it's a chance that it's gonna be a waste. So we'll see. As for my update, um, my insurance said that I was denied any more IVF attempts. They said my guidelines read that I'm only allowed three IVFs per live birth or I can't go over $100,000. I have appealed the decision because I have not had any live births, so therefore I should be able to continue my fertility journey. And I'm nowhere near the $100,000 threshold. Right now my fertility coverage is only at about 20,000, so I still have enough money to continue and I should. Um, outside of that, I do have six IUI attempts that I can do while we wait to see if we going to if the pill going to be approved or not. Um, Dr. Bill with Shady Grove at first, I think I mentioned this in my last video, she was completely on board with doing IUI and we could do medical cycles and we could do this and we can do that. When the insurance denied the IVF, all of a sudden she didn't want to do the IUIs. So, and she became rude and distant and annoyed and that was a way that she wasn't in the past. So my doctor, my GYN, graciously, <laughs> thankfully, switched my fertility doctor. So I'm now with an entire different company, um, which I'm excited about. I'm back with the fertility clinic that I initially started with that I was happy with. So I'm very happy about that. And now I'm just waiting to make an appointment to see what's next to see if we're going to do an IUI cycle um, or if she want to go through IVF cycle or what she want to do. I'm also trying to find out um, if we can do something like maybe take my wife eggs and put them in me or something like that because at this point Point with my eggs and everything that has happened. I don't know if my eggs are the issue. I don't know if the sperm was the issue. Shady Grove told me it was nothing wrong with my eggs. They told me it was something wrong with the sperm. The sperm bank says it wasn't nothing wrong with the sperm. So I don't know what to do right now. So my update as a whole is I'm no longer with Shady Grove Fertility, which is awesome. But outside of that, everything else is still up in the air and I don't know when I'll have an answer to what's next so yeah I hope that answer your questions I try to make this quick but it wasn't quick so <laughs> until next time